Hey everybody, how you doing today? And happy Memorial Day! Take some time today to thank the troops and anybody that you know that's been in the military that has served this country. Can't thank them enough. They've given us the opportunity to be able to do what we do every day. And I'm forever grateful for all of those people. So take time to thank them. I know you're saying this on Wednesday, but happy Memorial Day, guys. Let's get into it today. All right, guys, so we are planting corn today. We've got about a two-day window here where we can get in and plant before another rain event, of course. So we have brought both planters. We're actually switched the other planter over to corn since we finished beans with it. And we are gonna tackle this corn with two planters, which is awesome because we can get a lot done here in the next two days. So I'm planting here in this field, which is 125. We got about 800 acres in Illinois we have to do. We got about 800 acres over here. I'm in a 125 right now. Andy is in the other planter in a 300 acre field. And we are gonna try to knock out I'd like to say we're going to get out of Illinois today and just get it done. That's my plan. We're going to do it. That's what's going to happen. We're going to get out of Illinois today. And we're going to be set to finish in Indiana. Get a good chunk of it done tomorrow, maybe. Maybe there's still about uh, 300, 400. About six, five, 150, 600 acres in Indiana yet to do. And about 800 over here. So we got a good little ways to go, but with two planters rolling, we can get a good chunk of ground covered in two days. Maybe not get it all done because we've got to move quite a bit, but a good chunk. So that's what we're doing today. It's Memorial Day, like I said. We're planting corn. Uh, would we like to work today? Not really, but we've got a good window here of good weather, so we just got to get her done. Today's May the 31st, and we are planting corn 120 feet at a time. So that's awesome, so that's awesome. guys we are making some pretty good progress here we got this 125 acres knocked out just got it done now I'm gonna move about uh, two two three miles down the road and uh, start opening up another 100 acre field over here in Illinois so between Andy and I right now we're probably pushing 200 acres done today so that's good. That is good. We got a long way to go today. It's only 2.30. We ended up stopping for lunch and uh, celebrated Memorial Day with a little bit of family and some friends. So that's where we're at now. So we are back to rolling and this field's done. So we're going to go ahead and get folded up here, head down the county road and get on to another farm. So. Good progress is being day made today. Good progress is being made so far, which is awesome. Count down the days and the acres until we are done with corn. So let's just keep on rolling here, baby. in right along this field here right short in this field there's not a lot of 
clover or vetch. These farms over here in Illinois, they're just they just sit wet. The rye doesn't grow the best. But there is some rye, as you can see, there is some rye right here. It's definitely the worst. So where I'm at right now, this 40 to the east is not pattern tile and the 60 to the west is. So usually that 60 over there, the sewer rye is a lot better. It gets a little taller, it looks a little fuller. Now we're over here in this undrained, untiled 40. And uh, the rye is pretty slim pickings over here. But we've got about 72 acres done out of this 100. Having just a few problems wrapping in this field. Primarily right behind where the, the uh, tractor tracks are. And then the tires on the planter right there is where I'm having some issues. So, or the rye is just freestanding and there's no wheel traffic that's been there, it's not bad. It's just these few rows where we lay it down and then we roll through it. So that's why we like to, it's another reason why we like to do it while it's standing. It's easier to plant through in our opinion. Now if we had uh, a closing wheel that didn't destroy the slot and more or less just jammed it back together, like a Yetter Twister or a Martin Dimple, we'd be okay right now. Those don't wrap. But we're going with these uh, spader wheels. I've got this cutting action. They really cut up the trench. And they've got some sharper spots on them and they wrap. So we're having just a little bit of problems today. Nothing that's going to stop us or hinder us from getting some acres covered today, but just annoying every once in a while. You see it balling up back there and you got to get out and go check on it. But we're rolling. We're still planting some corn today. We're getting there for it. Come on. planting a 97 day hybrid uh, it's a Viking hybrid again we've planted their 108 day and their 102 day is what we still have left to plant I just got a little bit over here to go on this farm this 80 over here we'll see how it does but we are making some headway 42 acres done out of this 80 so we're over halfway in this field and we are boot scooting and bugging right now this is my last field in Illinois that I'm going to do. Andy is still in the big 300 acre field. Oh, surely he's got 250 or so of it done already. And then uh, he'll probably just quit for the night there. And then there's another 115. That he can finish tomorrow, but tonight I'm going to get to Indiana. So that way in the morning I can go to a field up north, get a 100 acre field that is ready. So we can get it done tomorrow morning. And then after that, we've only got about, uh, uh, call it 500 acres. So we're getting down to the skinny here. There's about 500 acres in Indiana left after tonight and about uh, 115 in Illinois. So we're making some good headway. We're making some good headway. Uh, now 300 of those acres, they are going to pump uh, liquid manure onto tomorrow. They're going to get started pumping poop. So we gotta wait on them to get off that field before we can go to that field, which kind of stinks. Since we could probably have got her done tomorrow, but they already had the hose laid out. They've been ready to go for about a week now. So we're just gonna let them have at it. Now they can just go out there and start putting some liquid dairy manure on there. And then when they're done, we'll come in, plant it, and roll it. And that field will be ready to go. 
But for now, we're just planting corn over here. We've got some decent rice and decent batch. And uh, we're giving her the beans. We're doing the best we can. So that's going to put the end to planting today for this planter. Andy's still got about, gosh, this road stinks. Andy's still got about 15 acres, I think, to get done up there. Uh, or something like that on that 300. So he'll probably get that done tonight if he's got enough seed. And then uh, I did about 300, 305 today. So we'll do about the same. And uh, I'm heading home now. I'm going to park this. Probably fuel it up tonight. Get it pretty much ready to go for tomorrow. Holy cow, guys, we made it home. We made it home. Talk about a long, bumpy ride. But we made her home, and I'm going to get some fuel here. Go ahead and fill this tractor up tonight. Alright guys, we are all fueled up. I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing in the shed to the night while we're here. And then that is probably going to wrap up this video. Guys, we're getting close to a thousand subscribers. We're only like 150 away. So if you're new to the channel and you're watching this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to hit a thousand subscribers. That is would be awesome. I thought 400, 500 was cool. A thousand would be awesome, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you watching this video, commenting, liking, subscribing. We'll see you on the next one, guys.